there's a huge problem with the VMH26. If you're currently using the VMH26 on your Windows 11, please do not upgrade. And if you're using the VMH26 on Windows 10, do not upgrade to Windows 11 till you finish watching this particular video because even the VMH itself have also spoken about it on their forum, what the problem is and how you can be able to find an everlasting solution to this problem for you to be able to use your VMH26 on the latest version of Windows 11. Also, for those of you that want to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, the best version of Windows 11 that you should upgrade to before you can install the VMH 26 on it. All of this is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Without any further ado, let's dive into the video. <music> What are these issues? The first one is the audio problem. When you upgraded your Windows 11 from 21, 22, or 23H2 to 24H2, we discovered you can no longer use or bring in your custom audio or your any audio at all on the VMIS software. Now it tells you right to protected memory, not allow, and also the video problem as well because you can no longer bring in your custom camera from your capture card or your camera rather on the VMIS software. Now these are the two problems with the VMIS 26 when you upgrade. Let me show you how you can be able to find out the version of windows or windows 11 rather you're currently using and if you mistakenly upgraded to this latest version of windows 11 and how you can be able to fix that i have three fixes for you now let's dive into the first one click on this windows icon here you can see down beneath the screen here from here go over to settings and on the settings here just just give it some seconds for you to load go over to systems here at the top the one you see right here and then scroll down to you see about here at the bottom of the screen click on the about and from here, you are going to see the version of Windows 11 that you're currently using. Now, if you can see my here, I'm using the 22H2. And some of you are currently using the 23H2. Now, when you've mistakenly upgraded or when you've upgraded rather to 24H2, that is when you begin to fix this particular problem. Now, how do you fix this? If it has been less than 10 days that you upgraded your Windows 11 to the 24H2 from the version you're currently on, here's how you can revert it back or undo all the update or the changes that you've done already now over here on the settings menu on the about go over to the windows update here at the bottom of the screen click on here and then from here go over to advanced option here click on that and from here on the screen scroll down to you see recovery this is the recovery here click on the recovery and from here you're going to see go back you're going to see a custom button here that says go back you can see here i have the reset the advanced setup which are the ones that are currently available here because I've not yet upgraded. Now, if it has been less than 10 days that you did your upgrade, you're going to see a go back button here. Just click on the go back and it's going to ask you to revert to the previous version of the Windows 11 that you were on before. And this is the best way to undo these changes. What is the second fix? Let me also go to the VMIS forum to show you this information from them as well. And here's a feedback from the VMIS itself. It said Windows 11 24H2 was recently released and has an issue we are using an audio input in VMIS 26 or earlier will cause it to crash. The 26.0.0.46 update was released to fix this only. VMIS 27 is not impacted by the issue and if you're using Windows 10, then 26 does not need to be updated. Now, if you're currently using the Windows 10, kudos to you, do not upgrade to Windows 11 yet. And even if you choose to upgrade to Windows 11, you can upgrade to the Windows 11 22H2, just like me, or 23H2, but do not upgrade to the 24H2. Now, if you decided to upgrade to the 24H2, just make sure you're using either the VMIS 27 or this current version of VMIS here, the 26.0.0.46. And once you install this particular version here, as stated by the VMIS itself, you will not have any issue with this problem. And this is the second fix for you. Next one will be to update your graphics driver, speed the Windows shared graphics or the NVIDIA, which is one you're using. Let me show you how you can be able to do that. Now click on this window sign here, bottom of the screen, right click on it. Then go over to device manager. I click on this window sign here and then go over to device manager. Click on the device manager here. Give it some seconds, another window is going to pop up. I just go on that here on the screen. Now from here, go over to display adapters. On here, have the display adapters, click on that. And then from here, you're going to see the graphics that you use. Now, if your system uses two graphics, because some system uses two graphics, that's the NVIDIA and then the Intel, and just right click on them, and then go over to properties here. 
and the properties go over to drivers here and you can see the um update driver here click on the update driver here this is it it's going to ask you to search automatically for drivers now click on it and it's going to search and update your drivers for you and once you done the driver is currently updating just give it some few minutes for you to finish updating your driver for you and once you are done this should be able to fix this particular problem for you now the last but not the least will be for you to copy your files and restore the windows 11s again you can either reinstall 22 h2 or 23 h2 but if it has not been less than 10 days since you did your update you can revert back to the previous version you are on if it's been more than 10 days then you can install the vmage 26.0.0.46 and that will help to fix that particular problem or you can upgrade to the vmage 27 and that is the second one but last but not the least which is know what i'm advising you to do but if all those other options does not work for you you can revert back or reinstall the windows 11 back you can restore the 22 h2 of windows 11 or 23 h2 of windows 11 thank you very much and this are the fix for you so i hope you enjoy it and don't also forget to smash the red subscribe button below turn on the notification bell and share the video and that's all for now see you on the next one